Aloha and welcome back to another episode of Chef Andy. Guys, today we are making the famous poke. It's poke, not pokey. Poke means to cut crosswise into pieces in Hawaiian. This is an ancient Hawaiian dish that I'm honored to make for you guys today. And there's a lot of different versions out there, but this is the version that I like. Poke's main ingredient is fresh fish. Ancient Hawaiians, they would go out and they would throw their nets right on the reefs and catch reef fish. And that was the first type of poke thousands and thousands of years ago. So the main ingredient's fresh fish. We had to go get the freshest fish that we could find in Seattle. All right, we're out here at Pike Place Market. This is my favorite place to come pick up produce, food. My dad, when I was a little kid, I used to come here all the time with him and get all of our fresh groceries. So we need to pick up some nice ahi tuna as well as some vegetables, so let's go do it. Freshest fish in the, in the whole town of Seattle, right here. Time to go get some fresh ahi tuna from Hawaii. So let's go. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for coming in. I'll check it out. Enjoy your tuna, all right? No problem, guys. Let's go. All right, well, since we're down here, let's go get our vegetables. All right, we're at my favorite vegetable stand in the whole market right here. We need to pick up a few things. We got some green onions and some shallots. Awesome. First, you have to try this pear. Oh, my gosh. Pears are in season right now. This is a Taylor Gold pear, probably the best pear of the year from Washington. Kind of tastes like joy and shame at the same time. That is super joyful. Groceries, everything we needed. Now let's get back to the kitchen. Pike Place Market is one of my favorite spots in Seattle to go shopping, get my ingredients. You really build a relationship with the people that work there. They tell you what's the best, what's in season, what to mix it with. But perfect, we have our fresh ahi tuna straight from Hawaii. It's not as fresh as it's gonna be in Hawaii, but it's as fresh as we can get here in Seattle. So I'm gonna rinse it off, just give it a flash rinse to get any scales or anything like that. And this guy's a pretty, pretty thick piece of, of tuna. So um, first things first, I'm gonna cut off the skin part right here. Wow, look at this nice fat piece of tuna. Thickness wise, I like my poke a little bit thinner. So I'm just gonna cut this guy in half and this stuff just cuts like butter. Okay, so poke means to cut crosswise into little pieces. So we're gonna cut against the grain. Ooh, yes. Wow. So we're just gonna put these right into the our bowl here, our mixing bowl. Before we start mixing anything, we're gonna cut up our green onion. Green onion up really nice and thin. So we're gonna toss in our green onions. Next, we're gonna take our shallot here. So we're gonna cut this shallot into strips. So just like so. Cut off this back part and we're gonna break it up. So we're gonna sprinkle in some sesame seeds. Traditionally, you use kakui nut but uh, we're gonna substitute it with sesame seeds. Those also taste great. Now we're gonna take our soy sauce, scoot this over, and we're gonna start mixing this in. So I'm just gonna drizzle in my soy sauce. I wanna do too much soy sauce. I'm gonna start tossing this in. It doesn't look like there's too much soy sauce on this, so I'm just gonna keep adding in. Remember, it, 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 the fish is gonna suck up some of that soy sauce. All right, we're almost done. Next, I'm gonna take my Hawaiian sea salt, and I'm just gonna sprinkle this in. Not too much, but just enough. Just a couple pinches, stir it around. I love to use the Hawaiian sea salt because the other, just regular salt, it, it dissolves. So when you get a Hawaiian sea salt, it you get that nice pop. So I'm gonna make two types. This is gonna be my regular poke, and then we're gonna make a spicy poke. So I'm gonna add this my regular non-spicy poke. So for all the people that don't like spicy food, this is for them. And then for people who like spicy food, I'm gonna take my sriracha and I'm just gonna squirt a little sriracha in the mix, mix it up. I like using sriracha, but you can also use wasabi or kimchi to give it a nice little spicy flavor. If you don't like raw fish, you'll like this. This is like how I got into eating raw fish 
was I first started out with poke. All right, now just to make our plate look beautiful, I'm gonna take some more green onions. I'm just gonna take my green onions, I'm just gonna put them down the middle here just to make it look so pretty. Wow, this looks incredible. So we have our spicy poke with the sriracha sauce and our soy sauce pork poke, our normale. All right, I gotta try this. Mmm. The tuna just melts in your mouth, just like butter. And then all the other flavors are just accents. You know, you get a little bit of that Hawaiian salt, the soy sauce, the onion gives it that little, you know, bitterness flavor. Let's try the sriracha, the spicy version. Oh yeah. I like the spicy more. This plate really goes to show you when you use good ingredients, you'll have good food. Like. I didn't cheat on buying like albacore tuna. You can make it with that, but when you have this high sashimi grade tuna, like you can't go wrong. There's melt in your mouth, it's butter. All right, well here is my version of poke. I hope I did my Hawaiian friends proud. And if you have not subscribed to the channel and joined our food movement here on the channel, make sure to do that for me. Slap a like on the video. Aloha, and I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Ciao.